Hello and welcome to the Center for Argument Technologies first full public release of its new argument analysis software OVA. Like all of the other software and services OVA can be accessed in production and test environments. Um, to access the production OVA visit ova.argtech.org but because we don't want our data uh, to persist and we don't want it to be made public we're going to use the test version. So OVA is designed to support an analyst in working either with their own text or with material they find online. And I want to use an example from uh, an opinion piece published by CNN recently. OVA is available in two versions, OVA Plus, which supports the analysis of dialogue, and the regular OVA for working with monologue, which is what we'll be using here. Notice that uh, there's a banner warning us that we're working within the test environment. So here's the CNN article, um, which is about US uh, trade relations. And I want to look at a passage about a third of the way down here. OK, so the argument is being made here about um, renewing the agreement uh, with 12 Pacific Rim countries. And maybe I think that that's acting as a premise for the conclusion about rebalancing US foreign policy towards the Pacific. So I select and click to get my nodes on the right hand side and then say that I would like to connect these two things together with an argument. So we now have an argument with a premise and a conclusion. I might also want to identify this part here about the level of ambition as a further conclusion from that premise. This is what many analysts refer to as divergent argumentation. I might also try to find other material in the text for thinking that this conclusion is true uh, and perhaps a rather ambitious analyst might say that that whole component there is acting as an additional premise for thinking that this is true and this arrangement here is often referred to as convergent argumentation. Looking again at the relationship between this premise and this conclusion I might think that there's some missing material perhaps that I want to add in um, and reconstruct as an enthymeme so perhaps along the lines that finishing negotiations constitutes rebalancing uh, foreign policy. So here's my uh, implicit component and I can connect that in either with the edge button here or shift click drag, this time into the argument itself and this arrangement, this arrangement here constitutes a linked argument. I might also as an analyst want to identify relationships of conflict so it might be the case that someone could think that this statement about blame stands in conflict with the conclusion about ambition. OK, so uh, if you're familiar with the work of the center here, it won't surprise you to learn that if you double click on one of these inference connections, then you'll notice that there are various sets of argumentation schemes that are available and within each set there are then a variety of uh, instances of argumentation schemes. Once we've completed our analysis we can save it <clears throat> and we can either save it to a local file, to an image <clears throat> or to the argument web infrastructure to the AIFDB. So let's do that. Now notice this has saved it to the uh, test version of the AIFDB and we can take a look at that here and see the usual presentation of data stored in AIFDB. Okay in addition to being able to uh, save to a local file we can of course also uh, 
uh, load from a local file. And the last new feature um, is that a given analysis can be shared. So uh, over provides a link. And if another analyst, for which I'm going to use another window, wants to access that same, oops, that same analysis, just move around in the zoom window here so we can see more or less the same part um, so I don't know uh, perhaps um, the new analyst would like to indicate that this is a scheme of a particular type perhaps argument from example and save that and of course not only does it change in this analyst's version but also in the original analysts. And there's no limit on the number of analysts that can work simultaneously. So OVA has been uh, under development and in beta being used in research labs around the world um, for almost two years now. Um, and as a result is relatively robust and relatively mature. But as ever, we still welcome your comments and feedback. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.